I have always been interested in writing, but I didn't know that journalism was what I was going to do when I was young. I grew up in Princeton, New Jersey. Um, both my parents are professors. Um, I, uh, my father's an astrophysicist. My mother is a poet and an English professor. I figured this out a little while ago. I was probably destined to be an editor because if you cross an astrophysicist and a poet, you get an editor. Kind of, I think. On a regular day, my duties uh, are working closely with writers, um, making sure that the stories we planned are coming to fruition the way we want, keeping an eye on news, looking for new stories. A great day is when I, when I get a story from a writer that just uh, delights me. And we have some critics who are just very smart and witty and insightful, and I learn from them. You know, so when I see a, a turn of phrase or something from a critic that frames um, a show or uh, a movie or a, t or a TV program or something in a new way that I wouldn't have thought of, that's delightful. And I, I feel as if I'm a proxy for our readers that way. If, if I'm learning something, if I'm seeing something uh, given a new perspective, that's one of the things that I love most about getting to work for the people I work with here. So when we do that successfully, that's a good, that's a good thing. I'm Rebecca Ostriker, arts editor for the Boston Globe.